Math 76 lesson 24, adding and subtracting fractions that have common denominators. So to understand this lesson, we have to make sure that we already understand what a fraction is. So I'm going to use a drawing and then a fraction and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about it real quick before we go into solving any problems. So let's take the fraction um, 5 sixth, right? So the top number we call the numerator, the bottom number we call the denominator. The denominator tells us how many groups our quantity is broken into. In this case, our quantity is broken into six groups. And the top number tells us how many of those groups we're dealing with. Uh, in this case, five groups. So five out of the six groups are what we're talking about. So if we were to apply this uh, to a circle, we'd take our circle, we'd cut it into six equal, roughly equal pieces, because I'm not a great artist. Uh, so we cut it into six pieces. And of those six pieces, I am dealing with five of those six pieces. So, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so this would be five sixths. So, now that we understand that logic of six is just telling us how many groups we have, and then five is telling us how many of those groups we have, or how many of those groups we're dealing with, we can use that logic to understand addition of fractions with the same denominator. So let's say, for example, we have uh, the fraction 5 sixths minus 2 sixths. So what's happening here is I have five groups of six, and I'm subtracting of those five groups. I'm taking two away. So let's say I've got one, two, three, four, five, and I want to take away two of these groups. How many groups would I have left over? Well, I would have three three groups that are broken in, that are, uh, that are part of a group of six, right? So what you see here is when we're adding or subtracting fractions with the same denominator or same bottom number, the bottom number doesn't change. We don't subtract six from six. All we do is we subtract the top numbers, right? And that's the rule here, right? So if the drawings are a little hard for you to understand, just remember the rule that when you're adding or subtracting fractions, you only change the numerator. The denominator will never change. And likewise, let's say we had um, an addition problem. Uh, let's say we were adding uh, one fourth plus two fourths. All right, the one plus two would give us three fourths, and the fours would not change. We don't say four plus four equals eight. We just keep four the same because remember the bottom number is telling us how many or what size group we have. The group is one fourth of a whole. All right, or there's four groups to deal with. And then the top number tells us how many of those fourths or sized groups we have. All right. Uh, let me see here. Do we deal with any improper fractions yet? No, we do not. Okay. Now, what if um, they add up to a whole or zero? So let's say we've got uh, seven eighths plus one eighth. Okay. So when we add this, seven plus one gives us eight. The denominator does not change. So now we have eight over eight. Whenever you have a fraction that has the same number on top as the bottom or a completed fraction, eight eighths is equal to the number one. So if you ever have a fraction where the top and bottom numbers match, that's the same as writing down the number one. So if you get an answer like eight eighths, your final answer will be the number one. Now let's do the opposite. Let's say we have, um, three-fifths minus three-fifths. All right, so three minus three is going to give us zero. The fives don't change. All right, now this is just going to equal the number zero. And the reason why is because I've got zero groups out of five, or I've got zero-fifths. I don't have any of the, I don't have any pieces of the fifth of a, of a, of a whole. So uh, zero is uh, zero fifths is the same as the number zero. It's just saying that I have nothing. So whenever you get the matching number on top, that becomes one. If you get a zero on top, that becomes zero. Uh, that's it for this lesson. If you guys have any questions, let me know on the school's website and I will see you in class.